there are reasons why you might need to measure your ingredients like food stops maybe you want to cut down on your calorie intake or when it calls for a food recipe like in baking or you want to maintain the same quantity test of a particular cooking or maybe you want to cut down on your sodium intake you know you have to be careful about the, your consumption of salt these are the two cups i'll be using in this video the smaller cup is made from 148 ml liquid pig milk empty container while the bigger cup is made from farrow's peas 538 gram net weight empty container i'll be comparing my smaller cup to the standard cup used by food soft sellers in nigeria market to sell gari rice beans etc as being demonstrated in this video i will show that my smaller cup is a heap of a standard cup used in nigerian markets by food soft sellers to sell gari rice beans in this video we will measure nigerian rice flour gari brown beans and sugar sugar will be shown later before i start i want to compare my smaller cup to my bigger cup i will demonstrate in this video that my smaller cup is about one third of the bigger cup remember i demonstrated initially that my smaller cup is a heap of the standard cup used in nigerian markets So my smaller cup is about one third of the bigger cup. I'll be using the smaller cup to measure Gary. I will show the number of tablespoons this my smaller cup will contain. So the smaller cup will contain about seven and a half tablespoons of gari. Label your measuring cups so that you don't get confused when next you want to use them. Like this cup now is smaller than the standard cup used in nigerian market see so you expect a smaller calorie from it assuming you want to measure gary with it when leveled
So the bigger cup contains 22 tablespoons of rice, which is about 264 grams. When you compare it to the calorie 100 grams of dry rice provides, you've already known the estimate amount of calories you should be receiving. Assuming you want to cook for a family of three. And remember, the smaller big milk cup is about one third of the bigger cup. I'll be using the bigger cup to measure beans to know the number of tablespoons of beans it will contain. I'll be using the smaller cup for flour. Please take a moment and subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon to receive notification on any of the video I upload. It won't cost you a thing.